Hey guys, I'm back out with a new video today, and I also have Hadley joining me. So, today's topic of the video is more like things you should know when caring for a parakeet. All the cleaning you have to do, the feeding, giving them water, and everything you'll need to know when taking care of a parakeet. Just like all the other pets that you might have, or you know, that people have, you will have to clean, of course. But not all of it is cleaning, it's just the majority of it is clean. So, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I'll start talking about is the daily cleaning. So, when you do it daily, you're going to do it every single day. One thing you have to do daily is cleaning the water. This is important because lots of feathers, droppings, falls into the water. And when you change it every day, it prevents bacteria from growing. And if you don't change it every day, or like... Say you only change it like once a week or something, your bird has like a higher chance of getting sick. So you want to make sure you change it like more often, like daily. Maybe not exactly daily, but like not like once a week. A little bit more than that. Maybe like two every two or three days. That's good enough. So the second thing that you have to clean daily, or maybe this is not really daily, but you can do it like every two to three days, or maybe like even four-ish, depends on how dirty it gets, is changing the cage liner. And for those of you who don't know what the cage liner is, it's located in the tray of the cage at the very bottom. And that thing collects all the droppings, food, and all that disgusting stuff that lands on it. And it's very important to change it. Also, some cages they have like bars over the liner or the newspaper, but some of them don't. So often the parakeet is going to try to pick at uh, either the newspaper, the paper towel, or the liner, whatever it is, and it's just going to get ruined up. So you got to make sure you change that quite often. So the next thing you should do, not really daily, but for about like, you know, every two to four days, is checking on the bird's food. So sometimes the bird food, their seeds, they have shells attached. And when the bird goes to eat, they're not going to eat the shell, so they leave them there. And lots of owners, you know, they see like half of food is still left in their cup. And they're like, oh, there's still food there. When it, it actually can be shells. And this really can be dangerous because the bird can starve and it can die because now there's no more food. And the owners won't know that. So in order to get rid of the shells, you can, you know, just go outside or blow over a trash can, like, lightly, because the shells usually remain on the top of, like, you know, wherever you put food, like, maybe a little cup or something. It usually just remains on the top of the layer of food. And you just blow it lightly. You don't have to blow it really hard. And, you know, most of the shells will just come off, and then, you know, you're good. When, the, when it runs out of food, you just refill again and then do the same process. So the last thing you should do daily when taking care of your bird is be sure to sweep up the floor because I know you bird owners out there will agree with me with this. Birds will flap and their feathers come out and stuff. They spill food, you know, when they go to eat sometimes, you know, it just spills onto the floor. I mean, it's really, it's not like a big pile of mess, but it's like, it's messy. So you be sure to sweep that up or else you're going to have a dirty floor. And it's going to be very dusty. So moving on to the weekly cleaning. First thing you should do is be sure to make sure your bird has its food. Put food into the bird's cage about every week. This actually really depends on how many birds you have. If you have like one and it doesn't really eat that much, then I guess it's okay. But if you have like five of them or, you know, it, it actually depends. And don't just starve your bird and then feed them in the very end and say you have like five of them. They're going to eat like... A lot because they are really hungry. You don't want to do that. Just feed them regularly, then they'll be healthy birds. So the next order of business you should do for your bird is be sure to clean the cage and the tray. You know, the tray is the one that holds the liner, and the liner contains all the droppings, food, and all that disgusting stuff that falls into it. You want to clean it out, you know, clean out the tray, makes your birds healthier, stops the bacteria from growing. Be sure to clean the entire cage. You know, sometimes birds can be pretty messy. You know, poop all over the bars and stuff. I'm not even going to talk about it. But, you know, just be sure to clean it out. And make sure it has a healthy environment. It lowers the chance of it getting sick. So the last thing you should do for weekly cleaning is be sure to clean out the perches and the toys. You know, parakeets 
are almost always on purchase and there are droppings on them they get dirty and stuff and you don't want bacteria to grow because you don't want your bird to get sick and the toys you don't have to clean it like weekly but you know just do it so it doesn't get like too crazy because again it prevents your bird from getting sick so some extras you guys should know is be sure to get the perfect size of a cage for your bird you don't want to get a too big of a cage for just one bird and you don't want to get a too small of a cage for like five birds make sure you get it you know perfect size and be sure you're if, if you only have one bird be sure you're talking to it you know have someone like you know take it out sometimes let it have some exercise and also don't don't ever place the cage in a dark area the basement, the closet, the parakeets don't like that area. There's no sunlight. You know, it's it's not going to be very happy there. So thanks for watching my video today on things you should know when taking care of a bird. I hope this has been helpful for you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!